Hello and welcome to Pitch Points by Media3. I'm Max, your host today, coming over from adamoments.io, Cardano's infinite timeline. Today, we are interviewing Rafael from Gen Wealth, a Web3 project on Cardano that's helping users to secure the inheritance of their assets through smart contracts. Let's dive in. Rafael, thanks for being here to represent Gen Wealth. Uh, this is a short, no nonsense format of a podcast where we do two minute, two to three minute pitches of uh, the project owner, that's you. And we try to maximize signal, minimize noise. So we're going to give you just two to three minutes and then we'll do a couple of questions after that. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Max. Super. Go ahead. Well, once again, thank you for having me here. It's a, it's a pleasure for sure. And in terms, let me let me present you what is general. We are basically a crypto recovery, crypto inheritance D app, and we are looking to solve a big problem. Is the problem of how can you leave your crypto assets to your loved ones? As you probably know, and a lot of people know, the safest standard to hold your assets is self custody. But then. Uh, because you're the only one in control of these assets is, is really safe. But then you have the problem of how can you leave your assets to your family? How can you recover them if you lose your seed phrase? And right now, there is no solution for that. You either have to trust third parties with your seed phrase and providing you a system to recover it. You either have to share it directly with your family and that brings a lot of risks to your cryptocurrency while you're alive because they, with the seed phrase, they have as much right to use it as yourself. Or you can have complex plans and mechanisms that can go wrong at any point and th those tokens will be locked forever, right? And because of all these um, shortcomings, you have a lot of people with no plan and risking losing their crypto forever. Everything they have put into in the, this industry and being so early wouldn't be worth it. And this is a problem for Cardano, but for all blockchains. And I think Bitcoin shows us the roadmap, right? We have around 20% of the supply of Bitcoin lost forever. Right now at current prices, this is around $200 billion lost due to lack of a recovery mechanism for cryptocurrency or for seed phrases. And we have blockchains coming together, such as Edera, Algorand, XRP, and now more recently Cardano that is also looking to solve this problem under the direct alliance to find a decentralized solution for recovery. And that's exactly what we are working on and what we are providing. We are providing you with a D app where you have total control, self custody of your funds. Everything is, do is done on chain. Uh, you're able to manage your funds as you do normally, but you're also able to set rules for how your crypto should be distributed and when, when you pass away. And it's really simple. Through the app, you create your own vault, you set the rules and beneficiaries, you deposit the tokens, you can manage them as you do with your wallet. And when the time comes, the beneficiaries can claim respecting the rules. By the same token, you can create a mechanism with rules for yourself to be able to recover your crypto and your assets in case you lose the seed phrase. And this is how we work, basically. Okay, super. Thanks. That's uh, that's clear. I mean, uh, feel free to keep sharing your screen as well. We can uh, probably uh, have a look at that as well. Um, just to start with here, so who is specifically the target market that you're looking to serve? Is it just anybody that holds a crypto wallet? That's your going to be your user. Yeah. W right now, the first. Uh batch of people we are trying to target is really cryptocurrency users. People have their tokens under self-custody that care about having that control and that extra layer of safety. And they are crypto savvy. Uh, those are the first people we want to, to tackle. But as we grow, we want to go through other industries, take advantage of the real world asset growth to also uh, cater for those kinds of companies and those kinds of assets. And even mm -hmm. in terms of inheritance itself, this protocol can help a lot in locating assets and ownership of the assets and easily transferring it. Yeah. So if we can tokenize assets into the blockchain, we can have a lot of use cases for inheritance. But this is in the long run. Short run, that's our target audience, exactly. 
Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong here. It's uh, to ensure that the value that you have within your wallet can be unlocked under certain parameters by family or trusted uh, people that you have appointed, right? That's in, in short the, the solution, let's say. Yes, but with a, a little caveat is that uh, the DApp itself works like a wallet. So you deposit the tokens in the DApp, you have your what we call vault that is once you create it it's associated uh, you you get a token that gives you the control of this vault uh, yeah. and only you can use it uh, only you can decide what happens to this value you can use it while you're alive the same way you do it with your wallet but yeah. exactly like you said you can subdivide uh, the crypto for beneficiaries and say this person can take this part when the time comes Okay, clear. And uh, what is the business model for Gen Wealth yourself? Is it just an open service, or is this an uh, yeah? You know, are you getting funded by the community, or is there a business that you'd like to run it as? Can you share something along that? Yeah, of course. Uh, there is uh, a lot we want to do, and we want to try to grow as a company, you want to have the sustainability to keep delivering services, keep delivering new rules. So it's important to have a, a revenue model to re actually have a team and to keep building. And our revenue model will be fees in the platform, small fees that we'll try uh, to, to take to compensate that work. And besides that, uh, we will also be focused on creating products and services, leveraging this technology uh, to be able to get uh, some extra revenue. For example, we are creating a, a service for uh, recovery of crypto for non-tax savvy beneficiaries. So imagine you have someone who knows nothing about Web3, but you still want to leave them something from your crypto assets. Using this D app and making sure everything is self-custodial, at least while you're alive, we are creating a service to make sure that that beneficiary will get its fair share. Okay. Um, I mean, uh, there's, of course, like the critical challenge here of security, right? I mean, that's that's something that everybody would immediately think about. So what kind of rights am I bestowing as a user to gen wealth? Um, how do you answer that question? So what in terms of security, what assurances can you give your users? Yeah, so uh... Uh, everything here uh, is on chain. We are developing everything on chain. And as you mentioned, security is crucial. Um, so basically, we have no control <laughs> over the funds of the users because this is a smart contract. Only the person who has who created the vault and has the, the token can manage it. So basically, the responsibility is all on the user. What we need to make sure as a company is that the code is safe, that there is no bugs, right? Because that's where the problems can uh, arrive. So for that, we, we need naturally to carry security audits, which is something we have in our plan with reputable firms to really try to stress test the code to make sure they try to break it any way they can. We'll also have test net. We'll also have bug bounties, but that might not be enough. I think having professionals is, is better and we'll try to have them the three <laughs> options to, to try to really stress test this and make sure it's as safe as possible. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, auditing uh, always helps, especially by trusted third parties. And um, I mean, from from your own perspective here in, in trying to grow this into a company and getting your users, uh, what are the main challenges that you are facing right now? Okay, I, I think the main challenge is usually we don't think about this 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 kind of stuff, right? It's not something. It's not a a want is a need is something we all need <laughs> unfortunately it's guaranteed we are all going to die but we don't like to think about it we don't like to plan for that we don't like to plan for the worst case scenario but this is just a um, a solution that we all need to make sure that we have peace of mind that we are not worried if something happens we'll have a way to recover our crypto for yourself our family doesn't need to worry they'll get the value we'll be able to create a lot of impact in the world to our loved ones or even to any charity or anything you'd like um, instead of losing it forever. And all it takes is to give that little step of taking 10 minutes to care about this or something to, to, to prepare yourself and then uh, you're set. I think that's one of the big, uh, uh, 
had big difficulties, I would say, in finding people yeah. uh, is passing that message because it, it's not a sexy subject, right? It's not like <laughs> sure, DeFi sure. or yeah. liquidity providing or whatever. I mean, in that, you know, the, the, this is, of course, a critical challenge. And one of the ways to solve this is to work together with parties that also care about this message. And I think that um, one of the crucial things about blockchain and is, of course, that it's a network and there's many different parties that interlock to provide services. Um, for you, I would imagine wallets, right, are, are some important parties that you could potentially work with. Uh, but... Can you mention or have you thought of any dream partnerships that you would like to form, even if it's in Web2, uh, you know, to, to overcome the challenges that you're facing? Yeah, of course. We, we have plans and things we want to do, especially as we grow, develop, show that the app is working well, has resiliency, has all the safety, uh, to do a lot of partnerships and your rights. For example, one partnership, we are exploring and we have some conversations, although I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't be mentioning uh, it already, is partnerships with uh, real world asset tokenization companies where we can mm -hmm. provide that, if, uh, that infrastructure in the background for their clients to be able to self-custody their own assets, but still be able to easily leave them to their family and to make sure we have succession of assets going well or even a way for them to recover them. And on the Web2 world, I think, uh, working with firms on the inheritance space, uh, state managers and all of that is definitely something we will search so that they can use this technology with blockchain, transparency, clear rules to manage uh, the assets for their clients and to make sure the needs and the wants of their clients are respected and they have like a proof and a easy way, a easy way to do it. What's next for Gen Wealth? So, what what is on the roadmap for you guys to uh, develop and deploy? Yes, so we we done a lot of progress uh, right now. Fortunately, we were able to uh, develop the smart contracts. Uh, we were able to create the front end, off chain everything. We have done some private testing right now, which was really great. When I mean private testing, is literally getting users that use Cardano to just be on a call with us. We see them use it and we take feedback. This was amazing to understand where users got blocked or what could be improved in terms of UI UX. Because as you stated, it needs to be easy for users to understand and as intuitive as possible. So we got a lot of feedback on that and our goal is now to do improvements uh, on this feedback and then launch uh, the, the test net. However, I got to admit and warn as well, that now with the Chang art fork that, that did brought us some delays, we are still making some changes to uh, make sure our smart contracts are compatible, working well, changing our tech stack because we are using things that also needed to update and some of them hopefully will update further to be compatible with V3 smart contracts and all of that. And uh, so we are also working on that front because there are also some improvements we want to have. For example, right now with this art fork, we have governance, right? And we have staking and our app allows you to stake your, your ADA. But to be compliant, for example, with this new model of governance, we'll also need to provide you a way to choose which, uh, how to delegate, right? If you want to abstain, yeah. if you want to delegate, choose a DRAP, become a DRAP. And those are all functionalities we'll also need to build. So this will uh, add a little bit extra time and some delays into our roadmap but hopefully it will make the product better okay super um rafael thanks so much for your time uh, if you have anything else you know any reach out or shout out that you'd like to do to uh, the people watching then please go ahead um yeah yeah uh, for me i would say just follow us on uh, on twitter i'll share the link with you is uh general thunder slash app we'll keep you updated there with progress and also, we are now creating our communities, Discord, Telegram. So we'd love for you to join there as well as soon as they are live. And thank awesome. you so much, Max. Awesome. I uh, look forward to hear more, hearing more about this. I honestly think it's a, a great application on uh, how to use smart contracts to help people empower themselves. So uh, well done on that. Thanks a lot, Rafael from Gen Wealth. Thank you. Take care.
take care everyone Thank you.